What's up, YouTube? Back again for another album review. Today I, today I will be continuing my KISS discography, and up next to be reviewed, as you can see here, is 1998's Psycho Circus. This was the first album to technically feature Ace and Peter, again, since the late 70s, I believe, Dynasty, but uh, this, even though the Ace and Peter only played on one song on the album, they all, all four original members only played on one song on the album, and that's End of the Void in the studio, but this is, honestly, this is my eighth favorite Kiss album. I absolutely love this album, I, and it gets way, I don't understand why people dislike this album. I think this album is absolutely killer. I think this album is a lot better than Revenge, and I think that, that might be a little, I might get some flack for that, but I think this album is a, a lot better than Revenge. This is just an awesome album. I, I can't recommend it enough. I think it's probably the most underrated album they ever released as far as, because a lot of people don't like this album, just because Ace and Peter didn't play on it that much, and I think that's a stupid reason not to like it, but Psycho Circus is in my top 10 Kiss albums, and I absolutely love it. 1998 release, so I'll go ahead and get right into the track listing here. This was their first studio album with Ace and Peter since 1979's Dynasty, so a long time coming, even though they didn't really play on it, but whatever. First song on the album is Psycho Circus, the title track, and that song, I mean, that is, that song's killer. That's probably in my top five Kiss songs of all time, Psycho Circus. I love that song so much. I mean, it's just awesome, I do. I think it's a great song, a really great opener. I mean, it's just a great song, one of my favorite Kiss songs ever. That's all, I mean, that's all I can say. It's so awesome. Next song is Within. I think this is a really, really good Gene song. I love the intro guitar riff, and I think that's played by Tommy Thayer, but I love Within. I think it's so good. Eerie, kind of creepier song. I love it. It's so, like, metal, like, grunge, sort of. I love Within. It's one of my favorites on the album. Next song is I Pledge Allegiance to the State of Rock and Roll, and I love this song, too. This is just... This is just, you know, Paul Stanley personified right here. I mean, I just love this song. It's so catchy. They actually played this live in 2004 on the Rock the Nation tour once, I think, once or twice. But I Pledge Allegiance to the State of Rock and Roll is a great song. One of my favorites on the album. One of the best Paul Stanley songs, for sure. Most underrated as well. Then we have the next song, Into the Void. The only song that Ace and Peter and Gene and Paul played on together in the studio. And Into the Void's awesome. Great Ace Freely song. Honestly, I think this ranks right up there with shock me and you know all, everything else Ace did singing in the band but Into the Void's awesome song I love it I love Ace in it I think he sounds really good in it I just love this song one of my favorites from the album then we have We Are One it's a great Gene ballad I think this is a lot of the songs on here well not a lot but some of these songs on here are kind of Beatles influenced I think and We Are One sounds a little bit Beatles influenced because obviously Gene was a big Beatles fan and so was everybody else but in the band but we Are One's a great song, great ballad, very underrated Gene song that doesn't get enough credit. We Are One's awesome, I love that song. Then we have the next song, You Wanted the Best. Uh, this song's okay, and you know, it's not bad. A lot of people hate this song, but I think it's actually pretty good. Or not pretty good, but it's it's decent. All four of them, gets, all four of them are singing on this song, so I think that's cool. But other than that, I'm not really a big fan of the song. I, so it's one of my least favorite on the album, but it's still a pretty good song overall really is. Then we have Raise Your Glasses, and Raise Your Glasses is my second favorite song on this album. I absolutely love that song. It is so awesome. It's just like, you know, it, it's kind of like a celebratory, like, you know, we are the champions, raise your glasses, like, you know, toasting to whatever, but I love this song so much. Great Paul song. One of my favorite Paul Stanley songs ever, and my second favorite song on this album is Behind Psycho Circus. I love Raise Your Glasses. It's amazing. So good. Then we have I Finally Found My Way. This is a Peter Peter ballad, and this is okay. It, this all this sounds a lot like the Beatles too, but this is eh, it's okay anyways. It's not great, but it's probably my least favorite on the album, but it's still not too bad of a song. Next song is Dreamin'. I really, really like Dreamin'. It's a really good song, I think. Paul Paul has a lot of great songs on this album, and Dreamin's right up there, so great song there, I think. Dreamin's really, really good. Then the last song on the album is Journey of a Thousand Years, and this song is absolutely killer. Great Gene song. This is so different. A lot of the songs on here are really different sounding, and Journey of a Thousand Years is different with the orchestra, and it's just awesome. I love Journey of a Thousand Years. One of my favorite songs on the album, one of my favorite Gene songs ever, so that's just an awesome song to kick off, or rather end, an awesome album. So yeah, that is all the songs on Psycho Circus, and I just don't get why people dislike this album. I think it's absolutely killer, great album. I really do. It's my eighth favorite Kiss album, which is saying a lot because Kiss has a lot of good albums. So, 
Uh, as far as my rating goes for it, I'd give it at least an 8 out of 10, probably an 8.5 out of 10, because I absolutely love this album to death. I really do. I think it's very undervalued. So yeah, that's my review of Kiss at Psycho Circus. Thank you all for watching. My Kiss discography will continue, as well as other album reviews in the future. Thanks for watching.